Hi guys, Lola here. Please enjoy the following installment of LPS Reads and Dragons. You know, in case you're wondering, the reason that Oswald isn't here is because he got bored with it. Um, go figure, huh? Well, anyways, if you're wondering about the new setting here, it's pretty cool because it's just plain and there's no distraction really. And don't you love it? Comment below if you do. Right now we're in Brownie's bedroom, and this is her desk in her bedroom. So yeah, this is just what the camera was sitting on. So anyways, yeah. Please enjoy the fun installment of Elephant Fish and Dragons. Wombat. Hearing the sound of his teacher's car rattling away, Billy remembered the morning's strange events. He glanced back to see if that mysterious Cadillac still might be in the neighborhood. No sign of it. He turned again and ran around the house, deciding to enter the back door and go through the kitchen. If Mom's on the phone, she'll be in Dad's office. Why disturb her work? Besides, Besides, he needed time to decide how to explain why he was home so early. He planned to tell the truth, but he wasn't sure what to say about the fire sprinklers. Could his breath really have set them off? Was it time to let them know his secret? He grabbed an apple, then headed toward the stairs, ready to hole up in his room to work on the English assignment from the day before. Mrs. Roberts gave them till next week, but he decided he might as well get it done. Now he's wasting time. Oh, no. Huh. Hmm. Uh, you can ask my parents. I waited to tell you because I wanted to be sure it wasn't just my imagination. That's mom. She's getting dramatic. She must be upset. When I saw the welt, I knew our lives would never be the same. Is there any word from the others? No. Irene knew we moved to Castlewood, but there's still no message, not even a peep. Maybe the worst has happened, like we feared. That's Dad. This is why I didn't marry for the past 1,500 years. I didn't want to put anyone through the same kind of danger. What? 1,500 years? What in the world is he talking about? But when I met you, I knew that. Whether I was a dragon or not, you were the person I'd marry. Dragon? What dragon? Billy knew he must have missed something, so he bent over to hear the letter. Is Billy in any danger? That's better. Mom's come in loud and clear now. Yes, I'm afraid so. If his breath develops a flame, he could kill himself. He can't possibly know how to control it yet. And he doesn't know how to protect himself. Jared, Billy has to know. When are you going to tell him? They're talking about me. I don't think we can wait any longer. We should tell him as soon as possible. I think he can handle it. He's always acted more grown up and mature than most kids. But that's to be expected since he has dragon blood. I don't think he's likely to have scales in his mouth. So if it could burn you, he must be feeling something. I also don't see how he'll be able to use normal dragon safeguards. Being a, a half beat I guess you'd call it. He may be able to find a way to protect himself but I can't be sure. And there are the other students to think about. We may have to homeschool him. And remember that nosy guy driving around in that Cadillac that Carl told us about. If someone's spying on us, they're bound to find it about Billy. Spread sooner or later. We may even have to leave town. So when he gets home, what do we say to him? Nothing yet. I have to consult the books. But I know I'll have to figure out what to say real soon. The books? Does that mean Dad's heading for the stairs? A dragon? A half-breed dragon? He looked at his hands and felt the smoothness of his skin. He opened his mouth and surveyed the inside. No skills there, either. But the roof of his mouth felt weird again, hardened and insensitive to the touch. Okay, Billy, get a grip. You're not a dragon. That jam about that night really was just a dream. He stood in the middle of his room, petrified, 
afraid even to walk for the fear of being heard. Meow, meow, meow. Billy knelt to pet Gandalf, looking deeply into his attentive eyes. Do you have any idea what's going on here? What's going on? I had a dream about a dragon, but I don't remember much about it. Maybe I'm dreaming now. It can't be a dream, Gandalf. I know I'm awake. It just sounds like my parents have gone crazy or something. Is this some kind of bizarre joke? It can't be a joke on me. They don't even know I'm here. Ouch! With one arm under the cat's soft body, he continued to stroke his furry head, talking to his feline friend as though he understood every word. It's like seeing your parents pull off masks and fighting out their aliens in their youth. Mrs. Roberts gave them till next week, but the stairs fell down, didn't they? Man! Mrs. Roberts gave them till next week, but he decided he might as Stop doing that stairs! This is why I didn't marry for the past 1,500 years. I didn't... Did I always say that? Yes! Ah! But when I went up... Blah, 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 blah. But when I met you, <laughs> I can't pull it together, man! Whether I was a lemur or not. You're not a lemur! I know, it was an inside joke. Pull it <laughs> Whether I was a dragon or not. <laughs> Dude, that's so unprofessional. Dragon? What dragon? Billy knew he must have missed something, so he landed in the dragon? What dragon? Billy knew he must have missed something, so he leaned in la blah. Yes, I'm afraid so. If his breath developed a flame, he could kill himself. He can't possibly know how to control it yet. Well? Okay, I forgot my line, okay? I think he can handle it. He's always acted more... <laughs> Spit it out, man. The books? Ouch! A tradition. With one arm under the cat's soft body, he continued to stroke his furry head, talking to his feline friend. It's like seeing your parents, Dad, Dana.